Dulani just spoke very glowingly about you. He said uh, you remind me, you remind him of him at a younger age. Um, just how much did you enjoy playing with him, and how much did he help you grow into the player that you are? Oh, okay. Uh, first of all, let me greet you. Uh, I think we had a, an amazing partnership, me and him, because they always say players they always complete each other. So I think when I'm with him, there's that balance at, at the center back. I know that if I go, he covers me. If he goes, I cover him. And he has been a captain for Bafana Bafana. He has played for Vets. He has been on this game for too long. So obviously, he has experience. The other games whereby he will always be a leader on the pitch, tell us how to title some situations, even on training. We always have that communication, that training program together so that we can correct what maybe didn't go well the previous game. Obviously, uh, your move to Chiefs was confirmed like a couple of months ago. How did that come about? Uh, you know, obviously, it was a pre-contract agreement. No, I think uh, at, at the end of the day, you must remain professional, regardless of what you see in front of you or what, because they always say never b uh, bend the bridges because you never know where life it holds for you in the future. So the most important thing which I, I took into consideration is that I'm still a super sport player. I still have a running contract, which is I must honor and finish until the end so that even when I leave the club, I know that I leave the club with peace, not have been the bridges or what. Can you take us through how it happened? How, how long, you know, back did talk start? Did they try to sign you from Super Sport earlier? I think for, for now I can't answer it because I'm still a Super Sport player until the 31st, 30th of but June. Be playing the Super Sport. <laughs> yes, but my contract is still running until the 30th of June is when I can close when I'm officially a, a Chiefs player. For now, I think I'm still a Super Sport United player. But was it was it hard to to, to negotiate? Was it hard to was it was it an easy decision for you? No, obviously, it's not a, a easy decision. But at the end of the day, for you, for your for your player to grow, you must get to the next challenge. You must get to the next step. You must go out of your comfort zone. What did it mean to you when? Super sport. Usually in South Africa, we see it. If a player signs a pre-contract, it means it's the end of their uh, their career at that club. You won't play again. But Super Sport decided against that, and you continue playing. What did that mean to you? I think one of the reasons which I I gave it all, even after the news have broken out about Chiefs, is because how Super Sport United treated me on this period, even the time when the news were were announced on the media, they never changed the way they treated me, especially the coach. He has been a magnifi uh, the magnificent to, to, my, to my career because he, he continued guiding me. He never showed me any signs of maybe pushing me on the side or what, no. He, he remained professional and even me, I remained professional too. I think you faced Chiefs is it once or twice since the announcement was made? Once. Once. And in that game, did you feel the need to perhaps prove to them that they made the right decision? Was there a bit more pressure on you because, I mean, they, they, they have signed you from Super Sport? No, I didn't have any pressure. I was just doing my time, always doing week in and week out. That was the best thing that I can tell myself as a player because sometimes if you put yourself under pressure, you end up making mistakes. We shall make a lot of noise again because everyone is watching. It's not everyone who will watch with uh, an open eye that I'm a player. Everyone will watch thinking that, okay, error happened because maybe he's leaving the club or what. So the best thing that I just told myself is that I will do everything that I know as I, I did it week in and week out, and thank God everything went well. And, uh, I think, honestly, you, you had time to, 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 to think about this. You, you know what you've put yourself into because 
If you look at chiefs, uh, you know, things are not, are not going well there. Uh, have you had time to, 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 to really think of what you put yourself into? I think I said uh, for now I can speak about chiefs. I'll only speak about Chiefs when I'm officially the <laughs> Kaiser Chiefs player. For okay. now, I'm still a super sport player. And I'm still having a contract which is running. Now, not speaking about your contract, but speaking about your personal life, are you aware of how big the change is going to be? Because at Supersport, you make a mistake in this one game, it's forgiven, people forget about it. Yet, when you go to the other club, um, you're under a constant microscope, not only on the field, but off the field as well. Are you, are you prepared for that um, transition? Because I can imagine even something like going to the shop would be a challenge because of the pressure that comes with that. Uh, one thing I can tell you, I can tell you that I'm a, a captain for the national team. I'm a player for the national team. I've captained my national team at the age of 21. So I don't think there's any pressure which can come more than what I've already passed through. That's What's one thing feeling? that you How must you consider. The, the challenge? No, it's just a normal challenge that every player can face. That's why I said for you to grow, you must, you must have challenges. There's no player that can grow without having challenge. You need to be tested. So it's a big test, I know, but at the end of the day, the same way I managed is the same way I will manage. Your imminent coach said something. So he said in his last press conference that players often shine. Um, when they're playing against Chiefs and when they're signed by Chiefs, they don't look like the same players. What do you make of that statement and does it affect you in any way where you feel like you now have to go and prove you are Chiefs material? Uh, I don't think there's, no, there's any pressure about that statement. I don't think of it. And Titi, um, I mean obviously going to Chiefs, you probably have uh, things that you want to achieve. You know, when you go there. What do you want to achieve with Chiefs? <laughs> Come on, Titi. <laughs> Come on, Captain. These Just are questions one. we'll ask you at the media day. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was saying. Uh, for now, nah, I can't nah, speak nah, about Chiefs. Nah, so what do you one, dream one. of achieving as a player? As okay, a player. in the PSL. In the PSL. <laughs> in the PSL. <laughs> okay, no, as a player, since from Botswana, my ambition was to come out of Botswana and come and play in South Africa, mm -hmm. then do my level best in South Africa and come out of South Africa. So my aim now Sweet is to trophies. continue growing each and every time, and each and trophies. every game, and then win trophies, then come out of South Africa. That's my, my ambition. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Um, Chiefs in the past have had like, top, 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 uh, <laughs> top defenders like Lucas, um, uh, Abedi, and all those people. Did you look up to any of these guys back in the day when they were young? Who did you like of these uh, former Chiefs and the defenders of the past? Go in here, old man. Well, I, I think I grew up watching. English Premier League and yeah. uh, La Liga, uh, most of the time. So I was watching Ramos, I was watching Vision Van Dijk. So those are people that I grew up looking after, uh, up to them. Tyson was saying in his conversations with you, he emphasized how you need to be, become a, a legend not only for yourself, but for Botswana as well. Uh, you know, how, much, how much does that resonate with you? Uh, what would you like to achieve in South Africa as a Botswana international and then obviously in your football career as a, as a Botswana international because there hasn't been many you know, big success stories coming from, from your own country. Oh, on that one, I think um, I need to win trophies. I need to play on continental competitions like Champions League and CAF. So that's what I'm looking forward to as a player. That's what I'm trying each and every time, each and every training session, each and every game so that I can grow as a player and win those things because you don't just win them for the sake of winning. You need to put extra effort for you to win them. One other important thing is that your country was always trying to host the Cup of Nations. Um, how, how significant would that be um, for, for, for the 
Pants and what? Where would you get an opportunity to post in the competitions? I think it will be a, a good opportunity for mostly Botswana players for us to participate on AFCON because it will give us exposure. One, two, it will create a lot of opportunities for the players so that they can go out of the country and be able to see green pastures so that they can come back, support their families and gain experience which they can come back also and pour into the young generation which is growing up in the country. And tell me, Titi, Coach Teenage, what advice did you, did you give to you when you mentioned the uh, Chiefs? I think uh, I've not had met with him. We never no, before. I know a um, couple of months ago before you. I never was talk of you moving. I never discussed with him about the move. Not all. Has anyone at Chiefs told you not to speak about Chiefs? <laughs> 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 we'll get you at the open, at the open day. <laughs> <laughs>